Yo, what's going on YouTube? How you guys doing? Well, would you look at us? Here we are, again, back with another Shrine Showcase. Wow, look at us go. This week, we have two really, really, really strong killer perks. If you guys don't know, every week I make a video where I go through and I make the two killer perks in the Shrine. I talk about them, I make a build with them both in it, I play some games, I showcase them, and then at the end of the video, we kind of talk about whether or not I think it's worth picking up in the Shrine. This week, we have two really strong perks in Pop Goes the Weasel and Spirit Fury. I think I've already done a, a video on Spirit Fury, which is kind of interesting. It's interesting the more I do these videos, the more I realize how many perks show up in the Shrine over and over and over before other perks show up. It's really odd. So I'm going to be doing a lot of repeats. If you guys have already seen the Spirit Fury video, sorry. But if not, then maybe you'll learn something new. But we have two perks that are both very popular and also uh, very good. So we're going to throw together a build, and I'm going to tell you guys what these perks are all about. So let's do it. All right, boys, we're going to be showcasing this on the good old Wraith. So let's talk about what these do. Pop Goes the Weasel is a perk where basically after you hook a survivor, the next generator that you damage, which basically means the, the, the next gen that you kick. I really hate that they put the word damage because it makes it sound like it would combo with other perks that damage gens, but it's not. You have to actually kick the gen. Like the next gen that you kick instantly loses 25% of its progress, but you have to do it within 45 seconds from when the survivor's hooked. Otherwise, it goes away. That's it. Spirit Fury is a perk that makes it so that each pallet you break magnifies the wrath of the entity. And then after two pallets, the next time that you are that you would get stunned by a pallet, the pallet breaks over your face. Essentially, that's what it is. It's during the stun, the pallet breaks. The pallet basically breaks over your face. That is what both the perks are. They're both very solid perks, although Spirit Fury kind of requires Enduring. That is a big thing. You kind of need Enduring with Spirit Fury. If you run Spirit Fury without Enduring, it's kind of awful. So I'm going to do a game with Enduring, and then after the game with Enduring, I'm going to do one without Enduring, because I kind of want to show what it's like without Enduring, but I promise you it's not pretty. <laughs> enduring reduces the, the, the pallet stuns by 50%, and this works with the, the stun where the pallet breaks. So essentially, if you have Enduring and Spirit Fury, whenever you get the two pallets and you charge up the perk, basically the next time that you would normally get stunned, the pallet just gets deleted during your stun, and you recover like with, within under a second and you essentially get a hit for free basically is what it is like with these two perks you basically get a hit for free if you can get stunned with spirit fury up um we're also running barbecue in this build just because i love blood points but that's essentially the idea behind the build we're just going to run at people we're going to eat pallets we're going to eventually eat the pallet that we're eating we're going to double eat we're going to like inversion like inverse eat the pallet while we're also eating the pallet ourselves and then we're also going to regress gens every once in a while oh also the add-ons i'm running are windstorm which makes me faster while cloaked and swift hunt which makes me reappear quicker i think wraith is really good for this because i think one of the major downsides to pop goes the weasel is how you kind of like have to kick the gen within 45 seconds so a lot of the times you're giving survivors distance you run through a gen that they're working on and they get to run away the entire time you're kicking it but wraith can make up for that with his super fast move speed so that's why i'm playing wraith that's why i'm running windstorm it kind of circumvents the downside of pop goes the weasel so hopefully we can showcase that as well let's just hop in game and uh show it off shall we okay mother's dwelling let's do this sounds good to me um, I was thinking about burning a map that had a lot of pallets. Like, I was thinking about burning like a Hawkins offering, but I was like, meh, meh. I feel like, I almost feel like if I have to burn an offering to showcase the perks, then like, is that really showcasing the perks, right? Like, I think if a perk is only good on a certain map, then is that perk really any good at all? And I feel like Spirit Fury doesn't really need a map. Like some, some perks, I'm going to do that anyway. Like, don't get me wrong. Some perks, I'm just going to straight up do that anyway. But I don't think Spirit Fury is one of those where like, I need it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, a map with a lot of pallets would be nice, but it's not like make or break in the perk, you know? Oh, where are you going? There you are. I completely lost track of her. I thought I was going to get stuck on that tree, but I did not. Oh, she's just running away into the nothing. She's running out into the field of nothing. Hi, I did not expect you to run to a place where there was nothing. But here you are. Here you are out there in the nothing zone. Nice. Okay, so here, look, I hook this guy. You see, Pop Goes the Weasel on the bottom right activates, and time is ticking down. Let me, uh, and that's what happens when you're on Pop Goes the Weasel, by the way. That's what happens every single time you're on Pop Goes the Weasel. By the way, just, just a fair warning, gonna let you guys know that every single time that you hook a survivor and you're running Pop Goes the Weasel, whichever gen is currently the most worked on will 100% of the time finish right before you can get to it to kick it. It's 100% fact. I'm gonna go ahead and block that pallet. Yeah, no, that's my pallet now. Yeah, no, that's mine now. Nice spin burst, though. But that gen, in, uh, that gen in Shack is now regressed 25%, and it's probably back to zero. Like, it was pretty far along, and it's probably back to zero now. So that's pretty nice. 
And look, we get to regress even more. Let's go. We get to hook this guy. Let's go. They unhooked over here. Are they still healing? No, they left. They're gone. They left. All right, see, like they're working on that gen upstairs. So I'm going to hoof my invisible ass up there, kick it, regress the shit out of it, and then chase him down, right? Sound like a good plan? I don't even need to uncloak because they already left it. Bam, look at that. Instantly back to zero. Instantly back to zero. Goodbye, generator progress. Goodbye. But again, the main issue with this, I will say, uh, this perk gets praised a lot by a lot of people in the community. A lot of people call it, like, the best slowdown perk. And, like, don't get me wrong, I like it. I think it's a good perk. But there is definitely a major downside to it. That being the distance that the survivors gain. The survivors gain a lot of distance while you're, while you're kicking the gen. Like, for instance, me running up and kicking that gen and, like, letting them jump down and run away gives them a lot of distance. Like, they get a huge head start in the chase. And luckily, like, I'm playing Wraith with add-ons that make me go really, really fast. So it doesn't really affect me that much. But if I was a killer that maybe wasn't super mobile, you know? Like, say say I was, like, a spirit or, like, a death slinger, you know? That, uh, that extra distance that they gain from me kicking the gen ends up being very impactful. So, if you see me, if you see me do gameplay videos, I do not understand where the hell she just went. I hit her and she just, like, vanished. She went, like, inside of my body or something and then just disappeared. I see now that she went behind me, but she got too far that I didn't even want to bother chasing anymore. Okay, well, they got the unhook. But anyway, um, if you watch a lot of my gameplay videos, you'll see that I really don't run pop on very many killers. Like I feel like it's a like I feel like a lot of people consider it like a staple in, in, in like a lot of their builds. Like a lot of people run it on almost every killer. I personally think that that is a mistake. I think pop is a very selective perk. I think on certain killers it's good, and on certain killers I think it's not great. I think wraith, wraith with speed add-ons in particular makes it good, but I think wraith without speed add-ons kind of makes it a little bit questionable. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. Like giving them a lot of distance is generally not a great thing to do. So I don't know. Just gonna throw that information out there and you guys can judge it however you want. Let's hook her though. This gen is worked on up here. We could just go kick this. And I will. Plus there's people up here. Ooh, wait a minute. See, like right here, I would rather get this down than uh, kick that gen. Like 100%. Like a lot of, and, and, that's a, and that's a big thing about pop too, is sometimes you'll find yourself in subs in situations like this. Like even right here, I don't think it's worth my time. I could hypothetically run up to that generator, kick it, run back down here, and then pick this guy up. But I don't think that's worth it. We have a ton of map pressure right now, and I kind of want to just keep up this pressure. Like, this guy's now hooked. This guy's about to get unhooked. I can go over there and hit these guys. This is, like, another reason why I'm not crazy about pop. I'm not crazy about it. Again, I think it's a good perk, but I, I'm not all aboard the pop goes the weasel train. You know what I mean? Because if I was to go kick a gen right now, they, they'd be able to get these unhooks. They'd be able to, like, wander off to a safe spot. They'd all be able to heal up. They would, I, they would, they, they would basically, like, full reset, essentially. And me not using pop and instead chasing them and applying, applying pressure basically denies that full reset. And now I'm applying pressure. There's still somebody hooked. I'm about to down this guy in a second. Like, look at all the pressure I have. I wouldn't have had this had I wouldn't kick the gen with pop. So that's another thing about pop, too, is I think if you're going to run it, I think it's very important for you to learn when to use it and when not to use it. I think a lot of a lot of new players make a mistake where they think that every single time Pop Goes the Weasel is active, you need to be popping the weasel. The weasel needs to be popping. But like, look at how good we are right now. Look at how good we good. Like, I can literally, I could actually kick this since they're healing behind it and get some value right now. But like, look at how like look at how well we're doing because I didn't use Pop. Because I didn't use pop a couple times just now and I instead went around and applied pressure We're in such a good spot. There's two people on a hook. We know where these two guys are That Meg is gonna go unhook that other dude right now, but like I know exactly where they all are We have spirit for you up. Well, we didn't get to use it because she just pre through that pallet for some reason Which is pretty unfortunate But we'll we'll, we'll showcase spirit for you in a minute And now we're gonna get another down here. They're all injured again So even though they even though they took the time to heal they're back to all being injured plus I'm gonna have a hook like, we have so much pressure right now, and it's all thanks to us not using Pop, which is funny enough. Like, Pop helps, but, like, it's a very selective... It's a very selective thing, you know? And, like, even right here, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill this Meg. I'm not gonna stop the Pop this, pop this gen, not yet. 
I still can though. Like I can do that and then I can go pop it if I wanted to. It's it's barely got any progress on it, so I'm not gonna bother, but I could. I could hypothetically if I wanted to. I hope I at least get to show Spirit Fury one time. These guys are kind of just dying. Because I wanted to show a game with Enduring and a game without Enduring, but like it's not... <laughs> I gotta be honest, it's not looking great. These guys are not doing a very good job of like being alive, you know? Hi. What the f... I couldn't tell if she can fit past me or not. She was bamboozling me. Is she just gonna rush the unhook? She is. I'm just gonna keep taking the one-for-ones, man. I'm gonna keep taking the one-for-ones. I ain't gonna argue it. I am down. I am down to keep going. We can keep one for one all day. And she's dead. <laughs> this guy got in the walker. <laughs> literally, I can see you. I can literally see you. You crazy bastard. All right. Hopefully she camps this. Well. Okay. Hopefully she goes to this pallet. So you can kind of just lunge at pallets, because look at that. You just eat the stun, and then you get a free hit. You see how free that is? Like, you see how absolutely free that is? That's what Spirit Fury is. That's Spirit Fury, though. It's kind of redunculous, to be honest with you. I, I remember when this perk first came out, I used to see it, like, all the time. Like, almost every single killer was running it for a while, and it was pretty miserable on the survivor side. Because that, like, to be perfectly honest, like, that was not a well-deserved hit. I'm just going to throw it out there. Like, I don't think I deserved that hit. Like the, like, like, the survivor played it smart. She ran to the pallet. She threw the pallet in time to stun me. And you're just like, ah, nice stun, loser. And then you just kill them anyway, you know? It's actually pretty messed up as a perk, to be honest. But hey, I mean, if that looks like something you want to do, spirit fear it up, dude. Spirit fear it up. It's definitely really nice if you're struggling with, like, the types of survivors that, uh... You, you, you know the type of survivor that just runs from pallet to pallet to pallet and just sits there and throws it and then runs to the next one and sits there and throws it and they just rinse and repeat that throughout the map while all their teammates are doing generators. If you if you hate those type of survivors, this perk absolutely destroys those types, which can uh, feel pretty good, man. Feel pretty good. GG's. That was overall a pretty solid game, though, everything considered. I mean, they, they only got one gen done, so I'll call that one a W. And uh, hey, GG's. We'll go again, and this time I'm going to take off Enduring, and I'm going to replace it with something else. Just to show you guys, hopefully we can get Spirit Fury to proc again without Enduring, because I want to show you guys how bad it is without Enduring. Like, it's so good with Enduring, and then without, it is complete and utter dog shit. So, I'll try to play another one, and I'll take off Enduring, and maybe I can show you what that's like. Well, let's go. Alright, we're a Haddonfield gamer today. So, I took off Enduring, and I put on Sloppy Butcher. Sloppy Butcher is just an overall great perk. Um, wow, for a second there, I thought I didn't have it on. I looked at my build and I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got scared. Whoo! I don't know why. I don't know why I looked and I saw Sloppy Butcher and I thought it was Enduring and I was like, wait, 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 wait. Whoo! I was about to get mad at myself. Anyway, we put on Sloppy Butcher. It's uh, a really good perk for Wraith. Um, I just kind of slapped it on as like a replacement. Hey! What up, dude? I like, uh, I like your penguin onesie. I dig it. It's pretty nice. Throw this pallet. Oh, man. Come on. What the? That was definitely deception. Shit, where did she go, though? There's no blood. Does that hide your blood, too? Or did she actually... I don't understand. Does it hide your blood, too? Because that was 100% deception, right? Like, there's no way she's in that locker. I, I have to check now. I have to check because I didn't see blood. I know she wasn't in there, but why was there no blood? Deception shouldn't hide your blood, right? I don't think it says that it hides your blood in your scratch marks. I think it just hides your scratch marks. Right? Unless I'm mistaken. I, I, I knew it was deception, but I was looking for a blood trail because it doesn't it, it takes away your scratch marks. I mean, if it takes away your blood, too, then it's fucking... That's a really good perk, then. Holy balls. Holy balls, man. Oh, hey, that's a weird generator. That's a very strange generator placement. Kate's over there just crouch walking around. She thinks we can't see her. What a goober. What a fucking silly goob. I mean, I guess I'll, reg I'll, I'll regress her gen and she's just gonna chill here. Back to zero with you, buddy. She left. She didn't leave. She's right here. She went nowhere, dude. She went literally nowhere at all. I'm not even gonna stall. She's right down here. Oh, hi. That was uh, pretty good moves of you were just then. That was pretty nice. I'm going to need you guys to throw some pallets. Because, like, your boy is trying to showcase some stuff here. I'm really need to, I'm really need you guys to throw some pallets so I can charge my Spirit Fury and have you guys break a pallet over my head. 
Yo, that guy healed, and he might have had that guy heal him. They might have both been over there. No, I lied. I thought they might have both been over there, but they weren't, so never mind. Never mind. Okay, but where did they go? Oh, that's the dude that unhooked. He's like, I don't want to. I don't want to chase the guy that got unhooked. They don't have decisive strike, but I still just generally don't want to like. I don't want to tunnel. You know, I don't want to be that guy. I don't think we need to. Okay, these guys unhooked too, and they're over here in Narnia. They're the whole way here in Narnia. Hi, hi, friends. Hey, thanks, man. I was actually just talking about that a second ago. How I went in Poundstone. Thanks, dude. Appreciate you, big guy. Can you throw another one? Thanks, dude. You're the best. Sweet. We got Spirit Fury active. And this looks like the perfect type of survivor. This looks like the type of survivor that I was talking about before that Spirit Fury is usually good against. When comboed with Enduring, anyway. Like, here, look. We'll, we'll uh, see if we can show you. She didn't throw it. It's okay. She'll, she'll throw it this time. So, look. Without Spirit Fury, you see how, like... Okay, well, you know, I was trying to showcase how without Spirit Fury, they get a ton of distance because you go through the full stun animation and this fucking Nia just ran into a wall. She just like crashed and burned. Her brain just like completely farted out and stopped functioning and she just like ran into a wall for an entire second straight. So I ended up getting the hit anyway. That was not at all how that was supposed to go. I was supposed to not get the hit, FYI. That's how that was supposed to go. She was supposed to get away. <laughs> all right, well, you know what? Never mind. Maybe you can run Spirit Fury without enduring, after all. Maybe maybe I'm lying to you. Maybe it's viable, after all. You just need the survivor to be running into walls. She's going to do the locker thing. She didn't do the locker thing. She has live. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Was I not in range? I'm dumb. I thought she was going to spin, and she didn't. This guy's name is Favorite Meal dick wow wow the dead by daylight community never ceases to amaze me man my lord all the thirsty myers people all the thirsty pyramid head people this dude who, whose name is just favorite meal dick i can finally get some pot value and i don't know what gens are being worked on kind of like again them getting distance from me kicking this is less of a big deal because i'm fucking speedy as shit i can just fly after him Hey, buddy, dead, dead, right? No. All right. This guy's name is Red Rank for Life. Red Ranks for Life represent. I dig it. This guy's all about it. Repping the Red Ranks. Did that guy come from that gen? I feel like I should maybe be going to kick that gen. I feel like he might have ran from that generator. That might have progress on it. I can't really just go to that gen with and like let these guys go though. Like that would be a misplay. I need to get. I need to keep up the pressure. I got to keep up the pressure. It's very important. Well, unless they run to that gen, then it's a win-win. Then it's kind of a win-win, you know? Yep, that's definitely got some progress on it. I'm going to kick it real quick. Get that sweet, sweet pop value. This dude never even left. Oh, and we got a twofer, dude. We got a twofer. We got the pallet thrown and charging our spirit fury and the down. And I think this guy's dead on hook because I'm a dirty, filthy, disgusting, tunneling piece of shit. Let's go. That's the kind of stuff you love to see. There you go, favorite meal, dick. See ya, buddy. Now, hopefully we can show you guys spirit fury again, again, again. But this time, hopefully we actually showcase why it's not good without enduring. Because I feel like before it wasn't really a good example. I'm going to go ahead and like get in front of you so you can't vault that window because I hate that window. Ooh, that almost worked on me. That was actually really good. Okay, there's a pallet down here that I'm sure she'll use. Oh, I wonder if she actually jumped in the locker. Why couldn't you just use the pallet, man? I'm trying to showcase something. Why you got to be going for these fancy plays that don't work? Why don't you just do the safe play of using the pallet? Come on, man. I'm trying to showcase stuff here, dude. I'm trying to make a freaking video here, man. Show some respect, man. I'm gonna go kick this with Pop. They're working on a gen way over there, but I'm not really too concerned. Oh. Oh. Oh, you don't say. Oh. Hello. Well, hello. This is the same Nia. Oh, I'm in danger. I'm in danger of this not working. This is the same Nia. She might, she might rhinoceros into a wall again. I'm not sure. I'm a little bit concerned. Is it? Nope, no pallet there. Is there a pallet here? No pallet here either. Where are the pallets? 
Where are the pallets, Nia? Find one, hurry, dude. Hurry up and find one. We got, we, we got, we got stuff to showcase. None there either. Oh, there's one here. Oh, I'm trying to get that spirit fury, baby. Well, man, this Nia is fucking it up. She threw it too late. Dude, I, you know, you know, guys, you know, sometimes, sometimes you're just chilling, trying to showcase a perk, you know, trying to be like, hey, guys, here's an example of this perk not working at all. And then it just keeps working. I mean, to be fair, Spirit Fury really didn't do much for me right there, aside from save me like the like two seconds of kicking the pallet after I got the down, which isn't really that big of a deal. But to be fair, it is, I'm getting downs. What was supposed to happen both of those times, both of the times that I used Spirit Fury, what was supposed to happen was they were supposed to get the pallet sun on me and then the pallet was supposed to break over my head and then during it being broken over my head, I, they were supposed to like make it to the next pallet or window. And I was supposed to be like, damn, Spirit Fury didn't give me enough. Darn it. I don't know. This guy clearly used deception. Like, I'm not dumb. I just don't know where he went after using deception. <gasps> oh, that's where he went. Hello. That man is uh, kind of crazy. Oh, hey. He's a head on, quick and quiet deception gamer. You'll love to see it. Oh, this is a rough place to chase somebody. Yep, this is this is certainly rough. Yep, this is this is really fun. I'm having a good time. We're having a good time, having a good time. Thanks, man. I think I'm gonna go ahead and kick this and then I'm just gonna go ahead and leave because uh, yeah, this place kind of sucks. Just to be perfectly real, this place kind of sucks. This gem was tapped. Hey, dude. I guess I have to chase here. Never mind. I guess no matter what, I'm chasing somebody here. I think this Kate probably is like not as good as looping it as the Zarina though, so I think I should be okay with her. And we use the pallet. Oh god, don't head on me again. Oh god, I thought it was coming. I thought I was about to get head on. I don't know what the hell she's doing down here, to be honest with you. But come, friend, come. We have important business to take care of. Come, 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 come. We must put you on the hook, my friend. I think at this point, it's just a matter of finding Hatch. Like, this is 100% going to Hatch. And I don't know if this other guy knows where it's at. If I can find it, then I'm basically in the clear. It's just a matter of actually being able to find it. This last dude might get the unhook, but even if he does, I could just swoop right back in and kill one of them. I think they're both on death hook now. I think. I could be wrong, but I believe they're both on death hook. Okay. Come on, Wraith. Come on. Move your big, dumb, invisible ass. We got we got places to go. We got hatches to find. All right, they got the unhook. That's actually okay, because it just buys me a little bit more time to find it, you know? I ain't even mad. As a matter of fact, I'm glad. I'm glad you unhooked that guy. I wish you would unhook him again. There it is. Okay, front porch. House right across from Myers' house. Good to know. Good to know. Duly noted. Jotted down in the notebook that is my brain. Okay, I'm gonna get head on stun. I'm just gonna go walk into a head on stun, okay? Sound good? Head on me. Head on me. Do it. Stun me. Stun me. Aw. Stun me. Stun me. Damn. Stun me. Stun me. Stun me. Stun me. Damn. If she was in one of those lockers, I'm just saying, if she was in one of those lockers, there's no way she would have been able to resist. These crows landed over here. That means they were over here. There's scratch marks here, which also means they were definitely right here too. And there's a survivor here, which definitely means that the survivor is here because the survivor is here. I can deduct from the information given to me that there's definitely a survivor here because there's a survivor here. God, I'm a fucking genius. Holy shit, I'm so smart. Please subscribe to the channel right now. Oh man, you sure tricked me. You sure tricked me. I have no idea where you went. Okay, did that hide the blood? Dude, that hid the blood. There's no blood. Dude, deception hides blood. I, I don't even, I, I wanted to give her some distance there because I just wanted to check. Deception confirmed hides blood. I don't know if that's intentional or not. I feel like I need to go back and look at like the description of the perk because I don't know if that's intentional or not, but that's very strong. The fact that it hides blood makes it, that's like, a, that's actually like a really, really big deal. That's kind of crazy. Oh, can we dunk this guy into the hook? Oh, fucking dunked, my friends, from the top rope. El dunkered. 
Oh, we, 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 not, we don't have to. We might not have to camp hatch. Wow, words are hard. Because we know, well, yeah, we do. Just kidding, because that guy just died. Let me go kick hatch, and then we'll, then, then we'll get him. Ah, can you die faster, please? Dude, new hatch looks so fancy. It looks so rusted now. It's such like a weird, rusty hatch. Oh, those doors are pretty solid. Those are some pretty solid doors for me. Scratch marks from here. I think she was back meow. Oh yeah, definitely back meow. She's definitely right meow. Can confirm that she's meow. Definitely 100% meow. Caitlin, Caitlin, let's end this. Yeah, yeah, that's probably correct. Yeah, she's just like, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it, I'm gonna turn around and point at the guy, it's over. Anyway, uh, I wanted to showcase this game why Spirit Fury is bad without enduring. And I feel like I did not do that successfully at all. You guys are just gonna have to take my word for it that trust me, Spirit Fury without enduring, it sucks. It generally sucks, okay? Like I know I didn't show it, but you're just gonna have to trust me on this one, all right? It's not very good. Most of the time, what happens is you break the stun during, uh, or you break the pallet during the stun, and then while you're in the animation of getting stunned, the survivor just runs to the next pallet and they get their easy peasy lemon squeezy. That's usually what happens. I, I swear this was like a weird off case where it, it didn't happen when it normally does. Agreed. Good deception slash head on plays. Was fun. I dig this guy. I like I like a build like this. You can respect the build like this. You can respect the good locker build. You know? You know? I respect it. I respect it. That dude gets the Otofu stamp of approval from me. Hell yeah. GG's. Alright, boys. That's it for the video. That's all for the showcase. As far as my final opinions on whether you guys should actually get these out of the shrine or not. Again, I want you guys to form your own opinions based on what I showed, but just to give my own input, just in case you care, feel free to ignore everything I say and make your own decision if you want, but what I usually do is I try to judge based off the other teachables of whatever killer has these perks. Like, for instance, Pop Goes the Weasel is a very good perk, but it's a clown perk, and clown's other teachables are Bamboozle and Chlorophobia. Bamboozle is a really good perk. So, like, hypothetically, if you are interested in getting Bamboozle and Pop Goes the Weasel, it might be best to ignore this and instead just let, and instead just, just like level up Clown and maybe use like the 2000 shards on something else, right? That's only if you want Bamboozle and if you're planning on not leveling up Clown. You could always just level up Clown and then, you know, you know, and then bam, you, you have it all. But I definitely would not, Pop is definitely a good idea. If you don't care about Bamboozle, picking up Pop is definitely a great, great idea. It's a fantastic perk. One of the better regression perks in the game. I know that Ruin Undying is super meta now, but even with Ruin Undying being meta, Pop is still a little bit more consistent. I mean, not much, because it's kind of, Ruin, Ruin Undying is pretty goddamn consistent, but it's still a really, a really solid perk overall, no matter what, so feel free to pick it up. As far as Spirit Fury, this, this one's a little bit more, my reasoning for this one's a little bit more, I'm a little bit hesitant to tell you to pick it up, just because Spirit is such a strong killer. It's a Spirit perk, and her other perks are kind of bad. She has Haunted Ground and Rancor, which they're not really bad perks, but I wouldn't call them meta perks either. They're kind of just like, okay perks. So, this is probably her best perk as far as like, if you if you want to ignore Spirit for some reason, if you don't want to play her and you just want like her best perk, definitely pick this up. Definitely absolutely pick this up if you plan on not playing Spirit. However, Spirit is probably one of the best, if not the best killers in the game. So if you want to like play one of the best killers in the game, then you're probably going to end up playing Spirit. And if you're going to play Spirit, then you don't need to worry about buying her teachables because you're just going to unlock them on your own anyway. So that's entirely up to you. My, my opinion is if, if you're not planning on playing Clown or Spirit, these are both very great perks. Definitely worth your shards, absolutely. And uh, 10 out of 10 would recommend. I mean, that's really it. Again, Spirit Fury, I think, kind of re kind of requires Enduring, which kind of makes it like a weird, a weird teachable where I feel like alone it's not good. But if you have Enduring unlocked for, on, on everybody else, because I think that's another thing. If you get Spirit Fury, you basically have to like grind Hillbilly and unlock Enduring too. Otherwise, it's going to be completely useless. But feel free, make your own decision based on what you guys saw. 
uh, 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 you don't have to listen to me. You don't really have to listen to anyone. You, you really, you really do. In the end, gotta make your own decision. So feel free to. That's gonna be it for this video, though. Like the video if you guys enjoyed it. Uh, sub to the channel as well because I'm uploading literally daily. And also stop by my Twitch stream sometime. I'm live six nights a week, every night except for Saturday from 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. Eastern, chilling, hanging out, having a good time. So feel free to stop by and say hello. And I will catch you guys next time. I'm out of here. See ya. Take care. See ya. I'm out of here. See ya. Uh, see you later. See ya.